What up, Music World Music Heads out there? Thanks for tuning in to my videos, uh, my channel, sorry. If you are new here, hopefully you stick to, to the end of the video because that means you listen to my opinion. So I want to hear yours in the comments below. And if you like, thumbs up if you like what you heard. Um, but I'm not going to keep y'all long. Let's get into the Summer Walker. Yeah, her album, still over it uh, sometime last week. And what I usually do is just go down the playlist, grab the few songs that you know stood out to me and whether it be the beat the instruments what was said are all are all of the above i'll just you know go over my um top favorites and yeah let's get into it so starting off i'll say because i don't want to forget this one so yes i wrote some notes because that's it like i'll be playing about how and if you're new here i don't I tend to, um, I like to uh, take my time when I do post reviews. I don't, as soon as something come out, I don't sit there and be like, okay, I got to hurry up and make a review about this. Because I'm like, how, an album just dropped like today and you already making a, I just don't get how people do it. Because I'm like, did you even listen to it? Because some of these songs, people like, are albums, people be like, y'all like it? That's stupid. I'm like, it just came out like how are y'all how are you already not liking an album and it just came out like i don't understand any hoosier um so i want to start off by the sierra's prayer because i feel like that was most important on the on the album like that one was most important to listen to because i feel like Summer Walker was like, let me get, because everybody keep talking about this Sierra's prayer and stuff like that. Like, let me get, let me see if she can come on the album and like kind of give us girls like, what's the tea? And to me, like, when I see that on like on social media under couples posts, girls be like, God, it's me again. Or Sierra, what's the prayer? I'm like, hmm. Oh. Like, help us. Like, help us, please. Help. This is not... Like, stop. Stop doing that. Stop putting that post and commenting like that. And I feel like... I like Sierra's prayer because she didn't make it about all about how she got Russell or she didn't make it about this man. Like, we're going to pray for a man. She made it like, no, like, sis. Are you good? Are you okay? No, like mentally, physically, spiritually, like you need to heal within. You need to make sure you good within before you start asking God or whoever, whatever your religion may be, before you start praying and wanting that a man like that, like you need to make sure you're good first instead of just worrying about being in, re in a relationship. Because for me, I'm the type of person I don't look. I don't care if you're a celebrity or a regular person. I don't look at none of these couples like they just the golden ticket for relationships. We only see in a couple of seconds to minutes of their life, and I don't look at it like, oh, that's how I. That's what I want. No, y'all are literally just seeing a picture and video of what they want you to see. They can be. A, they can be both abusive to each other. Or the other person can be abusive to the other person. Y'all don't know what these couples are doing. It's like I don't I don't pay social media no mind like that. I just don't look at people like they're the creme de la creme of everything. Like I just don't look at it like that. But I like Sierra's prayer because to me it was like a sister to a younger sister moment. Like, let me talk to you for a minute because Sierra's prayer is not what y'all are, what social media, the social media world is making it out to be. Like, I, I took time to pray for myself and make sure I was good before I started to pray for everything else. So I like that song because of that. Um, but the next one is Throw It All Away. I just love how it's the song, the flow of the song is like, no, you gotta, mm, mm, mm. Hey, you gonna da, 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 da. like I like that about the song. Um, I didn't write too much about it, but I like that song, girl. 
But um, that was my next song that I liked. Um, I put being in a relationship where you just wish that person would open up and give what you give in a relationship. Like, help me help you. This can't work if I'm pouring into you, but you're not doing it back. Like, bye. Let me pour into myself. Like, that's what I got out of that um, that um, that song. Like, she is basically saying, like, here I am in a relationship. And it could be about something else. Not necessarily a relationship. It could be a job, hell. Like, where you feel like you're putting your all into a situation or a relationship and you're not getting back what you're putting in. Um, and that's basically what I took from that song. And then you don't know me. Um, I'm saying she's understanding of her partner, but they're not understanding or trying to understand her. Like you can be in a relationship where you're understanding and you know about your partner, but they don't know nothing about you. Like it's, it's like, I know everything about this person and I, I, I get I know when they're mad, I know this about them, but when it comes to me, it's like they're clueless. They have no idea who I am. So that's what I took about You Don't Know About Me, that song. And then Circus, I love how um, I put, I love how she made a correlation between her lyrics, like correlating with like a circus, like, um, like basically saying like, she uh, this relationship is a circus like this is some like this is a show like this is a circus like this situation is a circus right now um but i like that song and then because like i said i like to listen to the albums before i go and put a review out because i want to be able to explain why i like certain songs instead of just saying yeah the album's good yeah y'all need to go listen to it it's good like, I'm just not that person. Like, I need to listen to what I need to hear what this artist like, what state, like, what can I, what am I getting out of each song? And again, comment below because I know what I'm getting out of these songs. Some of y'all gonna be like, I didn't even, that's not what I was here. That's okay. Put down what you, what you was getting out of the songs, um, off the, uh, off the playlist. Um, but next, I'm gonna keep it moving. Um, insane. I put, I think she's at war with, yeah, Insane and Throw It All Away are the two songs that I've been like, they've been on repeat when I'm in the car or just anywhere. They've been on repeat. Um, so it switches up. The more I listen to music, the more I um, I get out of, uh, like the more my favorite songs switch up. So um, Insane, I put, I think she's at war with herself on this track or just at war with herself in general. Um, God bless me. So this was a self-reflection song. Like that's what I took from insane. Like we see the blogs, we see, you know, people mention about how she's taking care of her child and stuff like, and I'm not one of them YouTubers or blogs. Like I don't get into these celebrities business. I don't care. I'm not invested like it. Cause I see them as humans like us, just different bank accounts. That's it. Like she a human, just like everybody else. Um, but I think insane is her like getting out. Cause we know music is therapeutic. So insane is like her, like taking that moment to like, just be like, I'm like losing my mind a little bit here. Like, I'm, you know, I got to worry about music. I just had a baby. I just got out of this relationship. I got the world looking at me. Oh, I was, I'm, like, I get, I get insane. Like, that's like a health mental check, like kind of situation. Um, and then I put a uh, number nine constant BS. I put the words don't mean nothing because their actions aren't matching. The math ain't math. And basically, and I love the vibe, the vibe of the song at the end. But I think on constant BS, um, where you're a partner or whatever situation, people are just doing a lot of talking and their talking ain't matching with action. Like you can talk all day long, but your actions ain't matching up to what you're saying. Um, the next one. Sorry, this is the season of algae, so sorry if I'm sniffling and everything else. 
these are when my allergies are the worst. Um, so I'm sniffling a little bit. It ain't COVID. So chill. Been in the house, okay? To myself. Um, so switch a in out. Uh, she's used to moving on when she's not getting nothing out of a situation, but for some reason, this person makes her want to stay. So that's what I took by with switching in and out. Like she's like, I think people, most people have been in situations where they're used to just being in the moment and then they move on and you may hear it rain too. Like it's raining. I'm Midwest. Okay. Um, but people are in these situations where they're used to just being in those moments with those people and then be like, where this situation that she's talking about, she's like, I can't stop being around this person. Like, this is different. This is something different. Like, I'm still wanting to be with this person. I'm not used to this. This is different. Like, what's going on? I'm used to like moving on. And for some reason, I'm stuck in this situation with this person. And I don't know what it is about them, but they keep me staying. So that's what I took about that one. Unloyal, unloyal, <laughs> unloyal. Between unloyal and baby mama, I think those are the main ones people are paying attention to. But unloyal featuring Ari Lennox. Um, it, I immediately put, it's like an Erica Badu that feel like, the jet is like jazzy and stuff, but also they're both talking there. You know what? There's, uh, excuse me, but that's what I got. I love un unloyal. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, like I just re did my account towards the end of last year. So I ain't got too many people following me on there and I don't really tweet much. I'm trying to get back in the habit of that. I'm getting it together. Okay. Y'all got bear with me, but, uh, I'm loyal. Like I love them loyal. Um, with Ari Linux, I just feel like they're just putting it all out there. Like they're getting somebody together. I love that song. Um, next one, Closure. Um, it's toxic. Like, and and that's funny how I was listening to Closure and it was ending. And as I was writing, I was like, this is to it sounds toxic. And then the next song is Toxic featuring Lil Dark. So closure and toxic, like they fall within each, like they're, that's some, those are matching songs to pair together because they're, it's both talking about toxic stuff, like toxic situations. Um, but I literally put in my notes, um, toxic, that's all I'm going to say. Like it's toxic, like closure and toxic, they core, like they go together. Um, and then, uh, uh, broken, but I like closure too, and then broken promises. But those are like the main songs that, and it's like 12 songs that I said stood out to me. But again, um, I think the most important song on here was Sierra's Prayer because she was really like, I think Summer Walker and other women are who, whatever you identify as, like people need to hear that because I think social media puts people in this mindset of like, this is reality. This is what reality is. And it's like, no, like let, let's, let's let people know that Sierra's prayer, like this is something somebody made up and everybody just started to take on that saying. And Sierra's like, no guys, like it's not about praying for just a, a good man. Like, Y'all, y'all need to know that, and it's not that we need Sierra or any celebrity to tell us what we already know, but it's like she's basically defining for herself like what a Sierra prayer is like, and that self care and making sure you're mentally, like I said in the beginning, mentally, spiritually, and physically good within yourself before you walk into a relationship. Because I think people see social media, see all this. These people going on these trips and these relationships, having kids and all this success, like what they define as success. And it's like, I want that. I know I'm broken inside and I'm not healed and I'm a little bit, you know, messed up here, but I want that. And I'm going to jump into it instead of just being like, but wait, I need to make sure I'm good first before I jump into anything. So I think that's the most, to me, that's the most important song on there. Um, but 
Um, the other song, the fourth baby mama. <laughs> Do we even got to explain? Like, she's just coming, allegedly coming at y'all know who, and the mama and the baby mamas. And I think that was a venting song for her. Ba fourth baby mama is like a vent, her venting and getting that off her chest what she's been wanting to get off her chest. But y'all comment below. I appreciate you for watching. And um, yeah, please holla at y'all.